Upon the release of One Piece Chapter 847, it was revealed by Big Mom that if her daughter Lola had married the man she was supposed to, she would have been Pirate King. But who is Lola supposed to marry, or was in this case? Who is so powerful that they could allow Big Mom to crush not just Shanks, but Kaido and Whitebeard as well, and become the strongest pirate in the world? Today, we're going to try to figure that out. Now, while many people have thrown around the ideas of Mihawk, Weevil maybe, or countless other characters that could be the one that was supposed to marry Lola, none of these other characters seem like the type to get married, even if Big Mom was to ask them to. However, there is one character who would. The Golden Lion, Shiki. Now, Shiki was on par with Roger, with Roger and Whitebeard, and his gigantic fleet even managed to gain an upper hand on the Roger Pirates during the Ed War. However, of course, Roger still won. Shiggy did mention that he wanted to ally with Roger to go with the power of his fleet and the new resources that were at Roger's disposal. He believed they could have taken over the world. So at first, you're like, why would Shiggy ever marry Lola? Then you realize, if he had married Lola, he would have access to Big Mom and her resources, and be able to discuss things with her in person, and possibly form an alliance with her to take down the rest of the world and control it. Now, we need to talk about the fact that the way Shiki lost in Strong World isn't really canon. The canonicity of that movie is very debatable. I personally don't think the movie is 100% canon. I think it is something that will be referenced in the manga, but I feel like Shiki's power was just made weaker. He was nerfed for the movie. He is actually much stronger than that. You know what you're like? This man was talking equally with Whitebeard, and he lost to pre-time Skip Luffy. There is no way in hell she is that weak, so I firmly believe this is the perfect and probably the only opportunity to return him into the story so we can see what Shiki is actually capable of. However, there are some downsides to this theory, and now I'm going to go over those downsides. We are getting close to the end of the story. Not to say we're going to going to end anytime soon, but we're starting to put the pieces together for the final arc. That is very clear. It's sort of like the four and the fourth great ninja war in Naruto. We knew we were nowhere close to the end, but you could tell like Naruto was getting closer and closer to being Hokage. It's the same thing. Luffy is very close to being Pirate King. It really just a couple more major arcs, and then the big final arc that will end it all. Honestly, probably like 5, six, seven, 10 more years, I'd say. Maybe 15? I don't know. But I think we're getting close to the end. It's very unlikely that Oda would want to introduce another big name like Shiki. You have to realize, reintroducing Shiki would be like, as somebody said on Brago DH's stream, Reintroducing Shiki would be like if you were Rai Dog Rastel and Prime Whitebeard showed up and was like Straw Hat. If you wish to be Pirate King, you have to beat me in combat. It would be like, what? You can't just add in a player like that. Shiki is not buggy. He's a big name in the new world. This man was captured inside and fell down in a sea stone prison cell. And he broke out. That is how overpowered Shiki is. He escaped Impel Down by cutting off his own feet. This man is a god. He's so good. You really think Oda wants you to introduce Shiki now? I think not. And another one I heard, another theory that is a little bit less interesting, but I can't really just prove it because it's so simple. 
And that Big Mom was going to marry into a family of Celestial Dragons, or Ten Rubito. Imagine the resources of the Celestial Dragon, who can pretty much tell an Admiral what to do. And a Yonko working together. I'm not sure if they can make the Admiral Marine, the Admiral and the Yonko fight together. But theoretically, they could. They're the Celestial Dragon. They're the Ten Rubito. They could do that. So, those are the two ones that I think carry the most merit. I feel that the Shiki one is more likely just being able to... I guess it would be cooler from a storytelling perspective. I think it makes more sense to reintroduce Shiki. You know what I'm saying? The Celestial Dragon just... It would be kind of boring. And it would be like, oh my god, that's genius, Oda. But it would also be very boring, like, where that would go. Like, when you're not obviously going to go to Mari Joe's, are you? You have to go backwards. It would be very confusing. So, yeah, in my opinion, I think he was probably the most to marry Shiki. Am I right? Probably not. Oda probably has nothing crazy planned for us like he always does. And I'm going to put my faith in him that he will do us justice like he always does. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, and you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on who Lola was supposed to marry in the comment section down below. And subscribe for more videos if you're new. Follow me on Facebook and check out. Follow me on Facebook and check out my Twitter in the comment section down below. In the description box down below. Have a great day, guys. It's the One Piece Nation signing out.